Hi, I'm Ray Chambers. I'm a teacher at Uppingham Community College in the Rutland area. We have roughly 850 students on roll. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what we've been doing in our school with Touch Develop. Uh, in the UK, it was roughly a year or two ago they announced that we've got to start teaching computer science. And for a lot of people, that was a, it, it's a bit it's a bit daunting and a bit nerve-wracking for them. But what we wanted to do is kind of implement something in in our curriculum early. So we had a look around at lots of different programming languages. We had a look at Kodu, so we've got that that into our curriculum now. But we thought we need something that's kind of in the middle. So we, what we've done is we found Touch Develop, and we've made schemes of work, resources, and we've let the students run with it really. So we've put the resources online so they can actually get access to those. And what the students are actually starting to do is make apps for their teachers' lessons. And what we've given them is a, a bit of a voice around the school. And what I really like is how they've actually gone up to some of their teachers and said, oh, if you could have an app in your lesson, what would it be? And these these teachers have actually given them some, like, I guess an assessment criteria because they're saying, here's the requirement, I'd like this, 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 and this. And then the students are using that to make sure they've embedded that into their app. And Touch Develop is, you can use it on any device. So you could have an Android device, you could have an iPad, you could be on your, on your phone, on the bus, and you could be just go on touchdevelop.com. And these students are continuing doing the programming wherever they are. And that's just engaging in itself, that, to see that the students are just taking that and going away with it. Now, I'll just show you here. This is an app that uh, a student called Will Smith has made, not the Fresh Prince. But, um, so, for example, if you drag... The, le the, the words into place. This was done for a history lesson. And these students are using these in their lessons now, and the history teachers are loving it. I mean, the other day they went in and they got feedback off the students, and they said, Well, this glitched, or you could improve this. So it's just the project's just grown and grown and grown, and now we're giving the students purpose behind it. Because you, you're not going to make a lesson engaging if you say, Well, here's a scenario, you're doing this. Actually, give them some sort of control control over what they're learning, so by letting them actually go and be a bit disruptive and go up to teachers in their lessons and saying, oh, if you could have an app, it's given them some purpose to what they're doing, and they're more engaged in it, and I've really enjoyed running with this project, and the students are getting a lot out of it, they're, 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 it's kind of broke down that wall, and they can just kind of talk to their teachers now without thinking they're going to be like, like told off, or not that they would anyway, but it's just broken down that barrier, and they're, they're getting their problem solving skills, they're learning programming and they're enjoying themselves and that's um, what, what my project was all about.